college football players around the country are finding themselves all in the same spot, held off the practice field because of, like everything else, coronavirus concerns. All right, how are our players in Maryland doing? Well, we go with Sean Stepner, who talked to the head coach today. Sean. This unprecedented time in the sports world has forced everyone to take a step back and count their blessings, including Mike Loxley. You know, it's a big time of reflection. Um, I think it really makes you appreciate a lot of things. Good. There we go. Good job. Now finish it. Good job. The Terps head football coach should be conducting spring practice right now. Instead, he's coaching from his home in Montgomery County, teaching his team via online video. We're in constant communication with our players. With no practices, he tells me the toughest part of this break is the lack of physical reps for his guys. The mental? He's got that covered. His staff spends about eight hours per week in virtual meetings with Terps players, teaching them scheme and trying to improve their football IQ. If we can come out of this thing a smarter team, um, and when this thing does finally open up, then we can really focus on the physical. While on-field sessions have stopped, recruiting has not. That's being done virtually as well. Loxley landing one of the nation's top high school players within the past week, Damian Robinson from Quince Orchard in Montgomery County. The junior linebacker defensive end is the country's 16th ranked recruit in the 2021 class. To be able to attract the top local players is a must if you want to get this program turned around and, and going in the direction that we all wanted to go. Right now, that direction is adjusted daily as Loxley tries to navigate this unique time. When the football world will return to normalcy, nobody really knows. Have you even, you know, kind of thought, I mean, about this possibly affecting the 2020 season? You know, I just know just hearing you say that, you know, all of a sudden you get heart palpitations like, what if there's no football? So we're going to prepare our guys today based on the circumstances that we're given. And then tomorrow we'll wake up and find out what the circumstances offer and we'll prepare tomorrow. While taking a step back and appreciating it all. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.